I struggled writing my speech, but my wife said, don't be too charming, witty or intellectual, just be yourself. <laughs> I'd like to thank Lucy and Sharon, who have worked really hard to make today so special. And Ben, well done for choosing the socks and ties. <laughs> Due to COVID, two years have gone by since Lucy and Ben originally planned to get married. And sadly, in that time, we've lost a very special person, Ben's dad, Neil. I'm sure he's looking down on all of us today, and I know I'd be extremely proud of Lucy, Ben and Hudson. <laughs> I want to just to say how stunning Lucy looks today, and how proud and emotional I was to walk her down the aisle. I think you'll all see where she gets her good looks from. <laughs> Lucy's the youngest of our three daughters, born nearly 27 years ago, she was very small, feisty and lovable, just as she is today. Now I come to my son-in-law. Little Ben, as he is affectionately known. He met Lucy five years ago through Rebecca and Daryl, and he fitted into our family straight away. We have thought of him as our son-in-law long before today. He is godfather to our grandchildren and a great uncle. With the postponement of the wedding, Lucy and Ben started their family and had little Hudson seven months ago. They are now waiting to move into their new home and start married life. I think you'll agree they make a smashing couple and I'd like you all to be upstanding and raise your glasses to the new Mr and Mrs Hunter, Lucy and Ben. Lucy and Ben! <laughs> As you all know, days like this don't just happen. In this case, it's been years in the making. I just want to say a huge thank you to Lucy and her mum Sharon for planning such an amazing day. And I'm sure everyone would agree what a fantastic job they've done. <laughs> Sharon and Pete, my new mother and father-in-law, I want to start by thanking you. Not only have you always been there for me, you have made me feel so welcome into the family from day one. When asking Pete for Lucy's hand in marriage, I've never seen someone say yes so quickly. <laughs> I guess he couldn't let slip another opportunity of a tradesman in the family. <laughs> All jokes aside, we would both like to thank you for everything you've done today to make today happen. We couldn't be more grateful. I would like to also thank the Maid of Honour and all the bridesmaids for their help in the lead up to making today happen and make sure Lucy had a great hen do. Although it wasn't Mar Bear as originally planned, I know you all went above and beyond to make it a great night. I think everyone would agree they all look lovely today. <laughs> to my groomsmen, thanks for doing such a good job in making today run so smoothly. Special mention to my best man, Daryl. Thanks for organising my stag do in Portugal. I know it was hard work. Luckily, I survived it and I managed to come back in one piece. Lucy, I'd like to say how incredible you look today. I am finally happy to call you my wife. I am truly very lucky. I can never thank you enough for giving me the gift of becoming a father. Hudson is such a perfect little boy and I'm so proud of the amazing mum you have become. We have so much fun together and we are always laughing. I can't wait to start married life with you and make more memories of the family. To my beautiful wife, Lucy. Lastly, I'd like to thank my mum, Michael and all of my family for always being there for me. These past few months have been really tough and it means the world having you all by my side. I'd like us all to take a moment to remember my hero, my dad. I didn't know I was going to get through today without you. I know how much you were looking forward to this day and I know you're here with us in spirit. So please all join me in raising your final glass to my dad. To dad.
You've taught us through your Son that love is the fulfilling of the law. Grant to your servants, Ben and Lucy, that loving one another, they may continue in your love until their lives end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. But first, I am required to ask anyone present who knows any reason in law why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. Silence is truly golden, isn't it? Okay. So Ben, will you take Lucy to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. It says I will in my script. <laughs> I will. Brilliant. But I much prefer I will, and I'll explain why later. All right. Lucy, will you take Ben to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live? I will. Wonderful. Now, will you, the families and friends of Ben and Lucy, support and uphold them in their marriage now and in the years to come? We will. So Ben, I'd like you to take Lucy's right hand in your right hand and say to Lucy after me, I, Ben, take you, Lucy. I, Ben, take you, Lucy. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. Better and for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Lucy, take you, Ben. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence to God, I make this vow. Now, Ben, I'll wait to take Lucy's ring. Be the small one, please. <laughs> Place on the ring finger of her left hand and say to her, Lucy, I give you this ring. Lucy, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Well done. Bring the ring all the way home. Ben, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Ben and Lucy have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. 
It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding and a sense of humour. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow old. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. He never leaves the seat up or wet towels upon the floor. The toothpaste has the lid on and he always shuts the door. She's very clean and tidy, though sometimes she may dilute. Leave your things out at your peril. In a second, they'll have moved. He's a very active person, as are all of his next to kin. Whereas she likes lazy days, he'll still drag her to the gym. She romances him and dines him, home-cooked dinners and the like. She even knows his favourite food and spoils him day and night. She's thoughtful when he looks at her, a smile upon his face. Will he look that good in 50 years when his dentures aren't in place? He says he loves her figure and her mental prowess too, but when gravity takes her over, will she charm with her IQ? She says he loves his kindness and his patience is a must, and of course she thinks he's handsome, which in her eyes is a plus. They're both not wholly perfect, but who are we to judge? He can be pig-headed, whereas she won't even budge. All that's said and done, they love the time they spend together. And I hope, as I'm sure you do, that this fine day will last forever. He'll be more than just her husband, he'll also be her friend. And she'll be more than just his wife, she'll be his soulmate till the end. Before I start with a character assassination, can I just say on behalf of myself, the groomsmen and the bridesmaids, a big thank you to Ben and Lucy for letting us be a part of your special day today. I know how much time and effort you've put into today and it's been incredible so far. Speaking of bridesmaids, don't they look lovely, everyone? Yeah, especially you, Dex, yeah. And uh, I think we can all agree, Lucy, you look stunning. Yes, Ben, you look alright as well, mate. All right. <laughs> now, what can I say about Ben? Or, what will Lucy let me say about Ben? Uh, we first met in Year 7, when he asked if he could walk to school with me and a couple of mates. And, uh, I just haven't been able to get rid of him ever since, to be honest. <laughs> He's even gone as far as marrying my wife's little sister, just so you can see him more and more. In fact, I'm pretty sure the first, he first started talking to Lucy just to get himself invited to Tenerife on a family holiday. Uh, he was a short, slightly chubby kid when we first met. And I've, uh, I've had the privilege of watching him blossom, as he likes to call it, into the self-proclaimed face of Ricelip. 
I've got to admit, it was a little strange for me when Ben and Lucy first got together, because I've known her since she was about 11. And, uh, <laughs> and basically, she's like a little sister. But the two of you met a great couple, and I'm so proud of you both. I'm honoured to be your best man, and people come and go through your life, but I'm glad to say we've been mates for the best part of 20 years, and we've got plenty of adventures, adventures ahead as our kids will now grow up together. For myself and everybody in this room, I wish you both a lifetime of happiness. So please, can everyone stand and raise a glass to the new Mr and Mrs Hunter. <laughs>